Okay, and then nice and straight, we join it up, and that is what we get. Okay, we still have the label and the label and the title, and with the correct plotting, you can get a sweet, sweet merit, or even maybe an excellence. Who knows? It's beautiful. Okay, so maybe though you have two lots of data, and you're thinking. Ah, how do I do this? Uh, one data is in the millions, one data is uh, in the thousands. What do I do? Uncle Neil, please help me. Okay, it's easy. It's like making a souffle, you know? You gotta crack a few eggs. Here's what you do, okay? You make another axis, okay? And you give it also the even scale. And this becomes not just a line graph, it becomes a multi-line graph, okay? You still have the title, you still have the labels, you still have the even scale, you still have the years. Maybe this one is in millions, so maybe it's going up at, uh, you know, 5, uh, 1.0, 1.5, maybe up in millions like this. Maybe this is thousands, it's going up in, uh, you know, 1,000, 2,000, 3, 4, 5, 6, it doesn't matter, okay? Multi-line graph, so maybe one in the millions is going like this. Okay, yeah, maybe it go like this. And we go, uh, 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 uh. And maybe the, uh, the, uh, the hundreds or thousands is going like this. Okay, but uh, we still go, uh, okay, so I go there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there. And we draw like this. It is a multi-line graph, very easy. Two scales, two different scales, easy. No one can tell you that it's not easy. Okay, so maybe, maybe your graph <coughs> has to show positive and negative. Uh, well, you know, I try to stay positive, you know, that's something I like to do. But you can't write that in the exam. You can't have the examiner is looking and he says, oh, positive, negative. No, I try to stay positive, so there is no negative. It just gives you another chief. What you can do with a positive, negative is you've got to have above and below. So you do a graph like this, okay, with zero and the even scale going this way and the even scale going that way. And uh, usually it is a bar graph, but sometimes it can be a line, it doesn't matter. You go up like this, okay, maybe then you have one that goes down, then you have one that goes up like this, then you have another one that's a little bit down, and then you have another one that's up like this. That is what you do, okay? Obviously you don't want to do that, you want to make it the same kind of width. But that is telling you that this is positive and this is negative, okay? How difficult is that? That is very simple. Okay, what's another one we want to think about? Sometimes, <coughs> sometimes they're talking about a relationship, okay? So they're talking about um, the number of ice creams that you sell versus the temperature of the day, okay? So uh, you are very, very hot in the summertime, so there, you know, you sell more ice creams when it is hot. Okay, when it is cold, you sell less ice creams. Okay, something like that. And what you get, hopefully, when you plot it all on there, is you get a trend. And the trend is showing you that the hotter it gets, the more ice creams you sell. Okay, and you might label these too, you might have to label them, you know. Uh, Whatever, you know, the 25th of January or whatever the date is, you label that. Okay? So that is telling you a positive relationship. Okay? Every graph that you draw, you must analyze. You can't just draw a graph and go, well, that's it for me. I'm finished. I'm out of here. Goodbye. You, you cannot do that. Get back here. What is wrong with you people? You are sick in the head. What you have to do is. You draw a graph, okay, like this, and then you say, this is a positive relationship. Why is it a positive relationship? Because the more something happens, the more of something else that happens. Okay? Uh, so you need to remember that you must analyze these graphs. Uh, now, let me think. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> this is a good one. Sometimes you have uh, data uh, that is, uh, how you say, uh, in the future sometimes. And so what you must do, of course, is uh, you plot, uh, you say it is a mind graph, okay, uh -huh, uh -huh, look at this. Then you get to this point and you say, okay, so this is the line graph, but this is now, this is in the future sometime, I don't know when, okay. Then you make this the dotted line, and you make that the dotted line, and the dotted line tells you, okay, the dotted line tells you that this is something that might happen in the future. So if you are predicting the future, it is a dotted line, okay. Now, if you are going to do <coughs> something to do with percentages, there are two ways you can do percentages. Oh, my beard is so soft and beautiful. I like it. Uh, you can uh, do a pie graph or you can do a percentage bar graph. Let us look at the pie graph. Pie graph. Okay, now let us say you are a bit stupid in the head and you have no Bojo protractor. Okay, that's fine because you know that this is 90 degrees. You know that this is 180. You know that this is 270 and that is 360. Okay? Just like in a, like a wheel or something. Uh, you know this. And so, if you have something that is uh, 100 degrees, then you know that you start at 12 o'clock and you do the biggest section first, okay? And 100 degrees is going to be something like that. Then maybe the next one is 90 degrees, so you know that it's going to be an angle that looks like that. And then maybe the next one is 45 degrees, so you know that that's 90 again there, so half of that is going to be that. You know, you do it like that and you just uh, use your brain, okay? If you have a protractor, obviously you can use that. The other one you can use is the percentage bar graph. Uh, percentage bar graph is 10 centimeters long, zero, uh, 10, okay? And halfway is going to be five. But you, you look at this little trick that I'm going to show you. Look at this little trick that I'm going to show you. Zero, five, ten, okay? So now we're thinking, hmm, okay, how do we do this? Well, you imagine that this is percentage. And add a zero, 50%, 100%. Okay, so you put one in, you shade it. You put the next one in, you shade it. You put the next one in, you shade it. Uh, and then you uh, put it on a key, but it still has a title, and it still has the axis label, okay? Percentage, title, okay? And the title, you can't go, hey, just come here, come close. You cannot say the title is graph, okay? I know it's a graph. I'm not stupid. I studied at the Sorbet for three years. Very cool. Okay, so this is what you do. Uh, you need to be able to do this graphing very well. Uh, but you must be quick. You cannot just, uh, oh, I've got forever to do this graph. Uh, a graph should take you 10 minutes maximum, okay? Because after that, uh, if you haven't done it in that time, it is not going to get you those sweet, 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 sweet merits and excellences. Okay, any more questions, you check with your friend, Uncle Neil. I am Uncle Jacques Neil. Uh, I have to go now because uh, I'm really tired of all this stuff. But please, think about your graphs. Don't take it too long. And uh, I'm tired, I'm starting to talk like an Italian. So, I must go. Goodbye, goodbye. Thank you very much. Tell me the duck story. Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum. A duck walked up to a lemonade stand and he said to the man running the stand, Hey, bum, 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 got any grapes? The man said, No, we just sell lemonade, but it's cold and it's fresh and it's all homemade.